Hey everybody, welcome and thank you so much for joining me for today's session. Today's session is Pilates for the hips. Hip mobility, hip stability, um, just strengthening the muscles surrounding the hips. Um, lots of stuff involving your hips, flexibility, everything. So, you will need a um, loop band if you have it. If you don't, do not worry, you can still do um, the exercises. Uh, and we will start down lying on your back. So just bring yourself down to lie on your back. Take your hands to your ribs. And like always, let's start with your breath. Breathe in, feel your ribs expand. Exhale, feel them come together. Just take a few minutes here to really arrive. Whether you are doing this first thing in the morning, in the middle of a busy day, at the end of a busy day, just arrive here in this place and time and be present. Allow any tension to melt out underneath of you into the mat, from your shoulders, from your legs, from your hips, from your face. Feel how your ribs expand on each exhale and can you make them expand to the front and to the sides and to the back? and then actively draw them back in together. You can assist with that with engaging your core. So on your exhale, draw your belly in, narrowing your waist, pelvic floor lifts, ribs, rib halves actively come into the middle. Let's do two more full breaths there. Really allowing yourself to come into your body. Be present and do a constant scan of where any tension starts to creep in. And then taking your hands to your pelvis, we're going to do a little bit of pelvic mobility. So take the heels of your hands to your ASIS bony landmarks, fingers towards your pubic bone to form your triangle, posterior tilt, imprinting your spine into the mat, anterior tilt, having the natural curvature of your spine. Now, your pelvis is uh, the bone where your, and then your hip sockets hit on, sit on either side, and then your femur inserts into the hip sockets where your legs move from. So it's really important that we have mobility in your pelvis and that we have strong structures supporting your pelvis, like your glutes and your pelvic floor, uh, to improve your hip strength and mobility. So just really notice if you can come through this pelvic movement independently. And then stop in your neutral pelvis with your triangle parallel to the ceiling. On your inhale, you can take your hands down by your sides now. On your inhale, send your leg out along the floor and then exhale, pull it back in. Now we're starting, you can switch, you can alternate legs. And what we're doing is we're starting to work the muscles, strengthen the muscles that are surrounding all of these supporting structures of your hip. So I just talked about the pelvis, and now we're trying to get some engagement through your hamstrings and glutes as you pull your heel towards your sits bone. And again, your hamstrings are there supporting the, these structures around your hips. So really feel this sense of connection right here where your hamstring and glute meet on your exhale as you draw your heel back towards your sits bone. Now stay single leg if you wish, or connect them both together. So you inhale, gliding along, exhale, pull in. Now notice I'm flexing my feet here at the end, toes come towards me, because it helps get more connection down your posterior chain and connected to your hamstrings and glutes. Inhale to press, exhale, draw back in. Let's do one more here. And then from there, hands down by your sides, take your legs and lengthen them out. Now I want you to feel this connection under you into the mat, into your hamstring, from the mat into your hamstring. So you need to exhale and then, and then release across the front of your hips as you engage your pelvic floor and engage your core. And you should feel that your quads are pretty loose and, and not tense, 
but try to get connection into your hamstring and glute underneath. Let's do it again. Inhale, and then exhale. Core engages, hips release across the front. I want you to be able to palpate in here and not feel any tension. Now, if you can't get this and it's hard at first, do not worry. Our hip flexors like to turn on all the time and they take some time to unravel and it's a bit of a journey to get them to quiet and soften. Doing it one more time. And then leave one leg connected down onto the floor. Other leg lifts up, external rotation, leg circle. Now I want you to try to keep your pelvis stabilized here. And we're coming through external rotation and we're rotating your femur now in your hip socket. So a little bit of hip mobility. Switch direction. Try to keep your pelvis stable and just allow your leg to rotate in your hip socket. This is how you get this really good hip work. Placing that leg down. Reconnect again underneath you on the mat. And then exhale, leg circle. So go back to your scan, do a little check, see where you might be holding any tension. Try to keep your pelvis stable, not rocking to the side or dumping to the side. Switch direction. Find your breath here. Last two. Excellent. And then place your legs down. Now bend your knees, place your feet back on the floor. You're going to come into external rotation. <clears throat> so that's where your knees track outward. Heel, backs of your heels are on the mat. So it's like if you were in your little V on the reformer. You can think about that. From there, check in. Your pelvis is going to stay neutral. Exhale, press your heels into the mat without moving your butt up. So I want you to really come back to get that hamstring glute connection. Inhale, release. Exhale, press down. Imagine you're trying to push the floor out from underneath of you and that it's pushing back at you at the same time. Do it again. Inhale, release. Exhale, press down. Now this time, you can release it, and this time when you uh, exhale and press down, you're gonna lift your butt up off the floor. So exhale, core engages, neutral pelvis, lift, and then lower. Do it again. Exhale, core engages. Feel this connection right underneath here. Glutes, hamstrings firing up. Quiet hip flexors at the front, and then release. Inhale to prepare, exhale. You need your pelvic floor connection here, deep core work. Working into your body, rewiring old patterns that don't serve you, getting rid of tension and stress. All of this takes a lot of concentration and a lot from your brain and mind, so don't turn it off. Stay in it, even if it gets a little bit hard and uncomfortable. Very good, let's do one more. And then placing it down, excellent. Hug your knees in, just have a little pause there. And then take your feet and place them on the floor. Now we're gonna do something a little bit differently. I want you to take one leg and cross it over, doesn't matter which one, and take your hand and put it on your knee, same hand as the, as the leg that's up, crossed over. Press into your knee like you're trying to press it away from you. And notice as you do that if your pelvis likes to come up. And I want you to feel this sense of opposition where you're trying to actively use your core to pull your pelvis down so it's neutral while you press into your knee. From there, hand, other hand comes behind to support your neck. Exhale, draw your belly in, lifting up at the same time that you're continuing with the work into your knee and pelvis. So take a second and sort this out in your mind. It's like you're forming this triangle from your uh, upper abdominals to your hand on your knee to your pelvis. And the idea with this or the intention with this is two things. One, you're working to get your neutral pelvis. And two, we are doing this external rotation of your hip. So you're really opening up your hip here. If it's too much, feel free to just do a couple and then come down and place your foot on the floor so that both knees are bent. Thinking about this strong work, exhale, draw your belly in, and return. Keep finding that connection. 
When you lift up, your ribs come together, pelvic floor lifts, belly button comes in away from your pants, press away, pelvis comes down on the opposite side. Let's do three. Two. Last one. Excellent. Okay, take your leg down, uncross it. Take both hands behind to support your neck. Exhale, upper abdominal lift. So just coming straight through here with your upper abdominal lift. Feel that strong core engagement. Pelvic floor lifts as you come up. Ribs come together. Now you can continue on doing exactly as we have before, or as we are now, sorry. Or you can start as we have before with your leg slide. So your leg presses out. Hamstring engages, pull it in, coming down. Inhale, pressing out. Hamstring engages, pulling in. So again, a little bit more to coordinate here. Lots more to think about when we try to engage your uh, the muscle of your posterior chain, glutes and hamstrings. Of course, which are supporting your hips, neutral pelvis. Keep breathing. I know, so much to think about. Let's do one more on either side. And then coming down, switching over now. So you're gonna have the other leg crossed over that you didn't have crossed over yet. Take a second, just give a little stretch. So press into your knee, open it up a little bit. And then do that check-in with your pelvis. So press in, exhale. Feel that your the pelvis on your opposite side drops down. And then take your hand behind to support your neck. Inhale, everything releases. Exhale, upper abdominal lift, press in, neutralize your pelvis, and then release and return. Exhale, press in. So when you're coming up, you can have a little look and see what's happening to your pelvis on the side. If you come up and you notice that it's really dumping, one pelvis is coming up towards the ceiling more, or it's really dumping over towards your mat, then try to reset and keep it neutral on the next one. And if that's all sorted out, then allow yourself to really feel it working here into your hip. Opening up, exhale, and return. Let's do five. Four. Three. Two, last one, yes, very good everyone, hug your knees into your chest, just have a little bit of a pause there for a second, and then grab your uh, band, your loop band, and I want you to put it right around your feet, so it's going to be around the bottoms of your feet, then straighten your legs out again, lengthen yourself out along the mat. Now take a second, get that connection, hamstring, glute, underneath of you into the mat. Choose one leg to start with, doesn't matter which one. Your, one, your other leg is gonna stay lengthened out straight on the floor, and then you're gonna take one leg, you're gonna bend it, and you're gonna pull your knee towards you, and release. Exhale, pull, inhale, release. So we're doing some work here for your hip flexor. We are asking your hip flexor to work under tension because you are pulling the band towards you at the same time that your other leg presses it away. So exhale, draw your belly in, pelvic floor lifts, connect underneath, pull and release. Now as you do this, I want you to check in what, you're, what is happening with your pelvis. We don't want any hip hiking situation here. So notice if your pelvis wants to tip up or tip this way or tip this way. Just get a little bit hands on with your body, connecting in. It is possible to move to flex through your hip without moving your pelvis. And that's what we're trying to get. Let's go for three, two, last one. Now place it down, switching over. Leg lengthens out. Exhale, pull, and return. So again, do this little check. Leg on the floor is lengthened and connected. Pelvis
pelvis is staying neutral, core is engaging. You're still breathing and smiling. Well done, everyone. Lots of work here right in your hip flexor. Now is the time where this is gonna be really fired up. So before we were trying to get it released, now we want it to be fired up and working. It's working under tension. Let's go for three, two, last one. Excellent, place it down. Now switch back to your other foot. This time your leg lifts up and it's gonna stay straight and you're gonna pull out to the side and return to the center. So a little bit of abduction here. Keep your legs straight. Imagine both of your legs are long sticks and you're trying to pull the sticks apart while they stay completely straight. Use your core for stability here. It's gonna to wanna to pull your whole body over. Can you stabilize and get that under control? Find your breath. That's three, two, last one, placing it down, switching it over. So lift up that other leg, keep them both straight, connect the one on the floor, exhale, pull to the side and return. Breathe into this. Now as it gets challenging and as your surrounding structures here get fatigued or your hip flexors get fatigued, then just be in it, breathe into it, roll with the discomfort. Remember, you can do these hard things. You're strengthening and working and improving. Let's do three more. Two, last one. Excellent, okay, come down. We're gonna do one more here. So switch over back to your other leg. Now this time I want you to come to external rotation. So that's like we were when we were before with your knees coming out to the sides. And we're coming back to the hip flexion and external rotation. So you pull toward you, but your knee is out at an angle. Exhale, draw your belly in, pull in. Now you may notice that this one feels better or different than the other one. And it's because often our hips feel better when they're externally rotated because we have that little bit of um, less tension. So really breathe into this, exhale, pull, release. So they, your leg stays externally rotated the whole time. The one on the floor is parallel, the other one is rotated. Keep breathing. Check your pelvis. Remember that you can move through flexion without it dipping or moving. Let's do three more. So good, everyone. Find your breath. Last two. Last one. Good, setting it down. Switching over. Last one here with the band on your feet. Exhale, external rotation, pull and return. So I'm always keeping a slight little bit of tension on, so I'm not taking the band all the way down there so it takes, um, comes off tension. Just moving through, we're trying to increase the time under tension and really make your hip work here, the strength, strengthen all the muscles surrounding it. Stay in it, keep breathing, core connecting. Let's do three, two, Last one, yes, well done. Okay, take the band now, and you can take it off and put it to the side, and just tug your knees in, and move a little bit through whatever feels good. And then we're gonna come onto your side to do a little bit of hip mobility work. So lie yourself down completely on your side. Lay, find yourself completely lengthened out. Now before we do anything, I want you to feel your pelvis neutral here on your side. Get yourself connected from underneath, that little mouse hole underneath. And then bend your bottom leg up. Don't move any, don't switch any of that or change any of that. Just bend your bottom leg up a little bit. Top leg lifts off parallel to the floor. Exhale, bringing forward, pressing back. Now here we are again, doing some hip mobility work. But I want you to notice if you can make it happen without your pelvis shifting. And it does not matter how far forward your leg comes. So try, so you can stop wherever you need to, to keep your pelvis in its neutral position. Find this strong core connection here. 
can put your hands there. Feel it working. Ribs come together. Now I want you to start to also, if you're not already, take your leg back behind you a little bit. So that's going to get you into some hip extension. And for that, you need that hamstring glute connection that we worked on a little bit ago. Exhale, press back. Find your breath. Three more. Two. Last one. Now leave it out long. Hip hiking. So I want you to pull your pelvis up towards your face and then press it away. Imagine someone's pushing right here at your waist and trying to push your leg out. And then pull it up and push. So if you were standing on the floor, this would be one leg lifting, like lifting up one side of your hip and dropping it down and then dropping it down. So really try to get that sense of pulling open here as you press away and then shortening your waist as you pull up. This is not a movement of your hips and pelvis that we do very often. So it's really good to help enhance all of the mobility there. Two more. Now extend your bottom leg, top, toes touch together, and then you're going to glide it up, external rotation, sending it back along, along parallel. So I'm coming up toe to knee, externally rotating at the hip. Think about your breath here, still narrowing at your waist, core is connecting, ribs come together. Let's do two more. Very good. Now bring yourself around. Just press back into your child's pose. Allow everything to open up and release. And then come into your four point kneeling. Knees underneath your hips, palms underneath your shoulders. Draw your belly up, tuck your tailbone under, rounding through your spine. And then inhale, come through some extension. So this is the first time we've done extension here in this class. Allow yourself to ease into it if you need to. Feel on your exhale here that you're pulling your belly button up towards the ceiling. And then inhale, you pull your palms towards your knees, the ribs open up underneath, shoulders are down. Now stop the next time in your neutral spine. Now you're going to keep your neutral spine for this whole exercise. So find your spine and really check in. Head is, or crown of your head is lengthened. Tailbone is lengthened on the other end. Choose one side. Doesn't matter which one you start on. Open. Close. A little bit of abduction here. We haven't done much abduction yet. But I want you to really think about working from right here as you're doing this. Knee stays in line with your foot. Now if this is too much to do, by the way, on your hands, you can come down to your forearms or you can do it side lying. And by on your hands, I mean if it hurts your wrist or anything. Find your breath here. So this is um, strengthening the glute mean, which is a hip supporting structure and allows you to do abduction where you take your leg away from the center, like if you were stepping to the side. Last two. Now from the center, press it up. Pulse, pulse, pulse. So check in, we want your pelvis to stay in the same spot the whole time. So I'm not doing this and tipping up and down. Pelvis stays stabilized. This is that hamstring glute connection. Hip extension, it's coming behind you. Very good, stay in it. That's five. Four, three, two, one. Very good, bring it down. Now I'm gonna come around so you can see me on the other side, but we're just gonna switch to the other side. So take a second and come through, make sure your spine is still neutral, setting up, lift your knee off the floor, abduction to start. Opening out, 
closing in. So thinking about having your knee and foot stay in line so you can get the work right from the side. Keep drawing your belly in, core stays engaged, feel that your ribs come together underneath. Very good everyone, let's do three, two, last one. Now pick it up, press and press. So feel this right now in your hamstring and glute max, your big butt muscle, the butt cheek muscle. This is where we're working here for this one. So that's where we want you to feel it. You can imagine it's like you're stamping your heel on the ceiling. Strong core. Five, four, three, two, last one. Amazing. Okay, come down. Come onto your side. All the way down. So you should be on the other side that we haven't done yet already. Check lengthening yourself out here. Get your core connected. Get right up here on your side. Feel your pelvis is neutral, engage underneath, keep all of that the same, bend your bottom leg, top leg extends out, sweeping forward, pressing back. Again, remember that it's important that your pelvis stability is the important part here, not how far you can move your leg. So find that connection, exhaling, belly button draws in, pelvic floor lifts. Now, if you're not already, start the hip extension. So you come back a little bit as you come, as you bring your leg uh, through. And again, that's right there at the gluteal fold where your hamstring and uh, glute meet. That's what we're trying to get you to feel it. And if you're not, put your finger there. Tell your brain, ding, ding, ding. This is where you need to do the work. Let's do the last two here. And then holding it out parallel, hip hike. Pressing it away from you, pulling it up. Nar uh, lengthen here at your waist, issue on like it's being pushed right here. And then narrow at your waist, shortening, coming up. Feel as you're going away from you that you can try to release across the front here like we did at the very beginning. And then exhale, core engages. Last one. And then lengthen your bottom leg out straight. External rotation, top leg glides along, toe to knee, and then press back out. Again, this external rotation is really good for your hips, for strengthening those structures around. It allows you to open them up, helps you release tension. And it's also just really good because we spend so much time with our hips parallel or in the sagittal plane, moving in the sagittal plane. So it's good for this mobility and flexibility so you don't lose that range. So let's do three more, keep breathing. Excellent job, well done. Bring yourself up. Press back into your child's pose. Just have a little pause there. Breathe, enjoy it for a second. Let your shoulders relax, your spine relax. Notice if you're holding any tension again. And then bring yourself up. Come to a comfortable seated position. Now that class was very much all very hip focused. So if you want something more for your abs or for more spine mobility, then feel free to uh, book it on to another class now. You can do another one. Otherwise, take your hands to your ribs. Take a really nice deep breath in and let it out. Feel them expand as you fill up and then come together as you exhale. Breathe in, arms come up. Exhale, bringing your hands down and landing them in front of you. Pause there. 
Give yourself a smile, a high five, a really great compliment because you showed up to look after yourself and to work on your body and move. Well done. Thank you so much for being here and doing this with me and can't wait to get to see you again.